So this is such a quiet wheel. Well, hello and welcome to my 650 kilometer review of the InMotion V12. Now, if you've not seen the unboxing and the 250 kilometer review, then do check out the links below and go and see those. This is just a quick update to tell you how I'm getting on. Now, Ian is riding the V12 as well at the same time as me, and he's doing his own reviews. So you'll also find links to what he's saying and to see whether or not we agree with each other. Now, I'm not watching his reviews because I don't want to be influenced by what he is saying. So instead, this is purely thoughts from my own brain and not influenced by Ian. Now, let me tell you, first of all, this wheel is intact. It's not broken in any way. It has not failed. It's not cut out. It has not smashed me into the ground at speed. In fact, it has been flawless. All the faults that you've heard about the V12, well, I've not experienced any of them. This is a little beauty of a wheel. In fact, I have fallen head over heels in love with it. And dare I say, this is now my favorite wheel. The Sherman is there just behind me. It heard me. Sorry, Mr. Sherman, but this is a perfect all rounder. Yes, it's not got the same kind of range as the Sherman and for that, the Sherman will always be my go-to wheel for long distance. But for an all-rounder, this wheel is absolutely sensational. One of the best I have ever ridden. Uh, and let me just put that into some kind of context and tell you what I love and what maybe I would change about it if I could. Well, the bodywork, I think, is immaculate. So far, I have dropped it a couple of times, once on soft ground, once or twice on soft ground, and once on a hard surface. I have just dinked the handle a little bit there, the trolley handle, but the trolley handle still works perfectly and that is solid as a rock uh, a unique design for trolley handles but it works really well the cutoff switch i did have a bit of problem with the cutoff switch when i was going through a busy railway station commuting with the wheel and picked it up and went up some stairs and i might have knocked the wheel the tire on one of the steps and it caused the wheel to spin maybe i just released the button a fraction and it caused the wheel to spin i tried to control it to stabilize it but there were lots of people around me and the wheel span and span and span what happened then was the wheel turns off so the next carry it to the top of the stairs you couldn't then just put it down because it's off and it's all slack and wobbly lots of people around me turned it back on and you've got to put the pin number in or it's the way i've set it up you have to put a pin number in uh, and i've said before not too sure about that pin number i'm not sure what it's trying to achieve an extra security feature oh, i suppose so will it stop somebody stealing it i guess if somebody's going to knock you off a unicycle and steal it they're not going to know it's got a pin number in it anyway so i don't think it's going to stop somebody trying to run away with it if they liked it um so anyway it's a nice little feature i suppose the computer screen no sign of water ingress there and i've ridden this in some very wet conditions but i love this little touch uh, control screen here bright clear colors in there you can change all the settings i've got all my settings uh, set to 11 up to maximum so that all the sensitivity and the speed uh, all the right is, is as fast as it will go and as sensitive as it'll go and i've got it on the commuter mode because it does give you a smoother experience and with the settings as far as they can go this is a rocket of a wheel. This will set you off into next week before you've even realized it. You just got to think about moving and you're halfway down the street. So quick, so fast, so responsive. And that is without having any power pads on there. Uh, if you had power pads, I guess, would it be even better? I don't know. But this is good enough without. Um, I did experience wobble at speed and under acceleration. And I have to confess, uh, I'm not getting that so much anymore. Um, so either the wheel has become better uh, over time or I've got used to it and I've got, become a little bit better at managing that wobble. So I was experiencing it around about 45 kilometers an hour, getting a bit of a wobble, certainly under braking. But the more I've ridden it and got used to it and got more confident with it, I guess, I just don't experience the wobble anymore. Sometimes under hard braking, yes, but that's only extreme. I just, just don't even realise that it's even a thing anymore. So if you're experiencing those wobbles, my advice would be when you get that wobble, just back off 
uh, get let the speed down, then go back to the speed again. If you experience the wobble, just back off a little bit until you find that you're going along at 55 kilometers an hour and it's no problem at all. This wheel will do apparently 70 kilometers an hour. The fastest I've had out of it was 64 and that was fast enough. I was grinning so hard, I almost sprained my face. Then I had to stop and pick the flies out of my teeth. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, the waterproofing of this is fantastic. Like I said, I've been out in some very wet conditions. I was concerned that the Bluetooth speakers at the front of the back have got those little holes in the bodywork, and I thought they would got, have got full of mud by now, and I'd have to be picking them out with a, a toothpick, but that's not been a problem. It's been fine. Um, there is a little recess under the handle there, and when I'd gone into work the other day with the wheel and rinsed through some very wet weather, uh, and then I put the wheel up in the corner of the office. When I came back to it at the end of the day, there was still a sizable amount of water held in this reservoir that they've put underneath the handle there. There's nowhere for the water to drain away. Uh, but that's just a little minor, minor thing, isn't it? The foot plates still really good nice and grippy I've not caught the foot plates on anything yet really don't think I have uh, and that's because I'm riding this in the out of the box setting now you can adjust the height of the foot plates or the height of that position that riding position I think there are three settings there but this is just out of the box and it's on the highest setting and it takes a bit of getting used to if you're not used to it now I've ridden uh, suspension unicycles they tend to be a bit higher but if you're not used to it it is kind of a, a weird kind of higher center of gravity it's only by an inch or so but it's just enough to feel a bit weird particularly if you're going around a corner and there's like an adverse camber going around a corner it can feel a bit weird but you get used to that and having that high foot plates absolutely brilliant because you don't catch them on, on anything they just fly along the tire on road has been brilliant absolutely fantastic i've ridden it off road and it does scare me a little bit <laughs> it doesn't take much for this to, to slip on, uh, underneath me but i've not fallen off and now last time i said i would check out the bluetooth speakers and i have done that and if there's one thing i could do away with and never have on a wheel again it would be a bluetooth speaker now i might be uh, in the minority with that one but if you want to listen to music, uh, then it wants to come through a quality source. And, and the Bluetooth speakers on every wheel I've ever ridden, the sound that comes out of them is not a quality. You, you won't sit around in your living room listening to the music from your unicycle, so why would you do it going down the street? Uh, I did connect to it and played music through it, and the lights do pulse in time of the music, and that's kind of cool, I suppose. But I'm 52, for goodness sake, it's not, that's not for me. Uh, and it did scare me to death because I forgot I'd put the Bluetooth on and then I put the sat-nav into my phone to plan, plan a route and it, I was going through quite a busy area and it suddenly screamed at me to turn left in about 20 yards or something and everybody in the area stopped and stared at me. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't get Bluetooth speakers. So, that's just me. The lights on it are all brilliant. There's nothing much more to say, really. This wheel has been absolutely flawless. Uh, and... If it would go the same kind of distance as the Sherman, then I would never have another wheel. If it was, well, that's it. I mean, I've got the, the, the uh, King Song, the uh, 18 XL, and that is now sat there in the corner of the room, just looking at me like a like an old dog when a puppy's walked into the room and thinking, will I be loved again? Well, I still love my 18 XL, but honestly, uh, this is now my go-to wheel of choice. So, um, oh yes, the mudguard. Now I did try the mudguard out to see what it's like. Ian did say that he wasn't a fan of the mudguard and I have ridden it in wet weather. And yes, it's not brilliant, but it's better than nothing. And some unicycle manufacturers give you nothing. So I'm okay with that, that's fine. It gets you a little bit wet, but if you're riding around in the wettest of conditions, then 
it's your own stupid fault and dress appropriately i would say but i think the mud guards okay for me for occasional use uh, but there you are um so listen that's it i hope you've enjoyed that keep watching these because we will do a thousand kilometer review coming up and if this wheel carries on in the way it's been for the last 650 kilometers then honestly i shall be riding with a big grin on my face and just waking every morning thinking can i go out on the v12 today please so please give us a thumbs up a like and a subscribe if you are interested in my own youtube channel then please do check me out it's on youtube where there's lots of fun things taking place and if you subscribe to that then well a thousand blessings on you and your family but that's it for now check out speedy feet for the other reviews not just on this wheel but other wheels as well plenty of stuff on there and lots of other gubbins but that's it for me this time thanks see you again Bye.